Stave CS Virtual Maintenance Trainers, or VMTs, allow both simple and complex maintenance tasks to be performed virtually instead of using expensive, often sensitive technical or gray gear equipment. The use of VMTs removes the risk of damaging equipment during maintenance training and in many cases expands the scope of work packages and the tasks that can be covered compared to a traditional training environment. In addition to environments, systems, and their components, VMTs include simulations of the test equipment used for maintenance procedures. In this example, a spy technician is using an oscilloscope to align a phase shifter. Students are required to set up and operate the simulated test equipment just like the actual equipment, including attaching probes to the correct test points, selecting the correct settings, and interpreting their live readings. Stave CS VMTs are engineered using a state machine that models the system's components and connections down to each wire and each pin within components like Ethernet cables. Larger projects manage over half a million components in the state machine. With the state machine managing and tracking so many components, the VMTs allow students to get up close with some of the small parts like this solenoid valve. The valve assembly can be disassembled into all their individual and individually tracked parts. Bolts, screws, gaskets, housing, wiring, etc. Some features in the VMTs use fully 3D objects like seen here, while others use a combination of 3D models and 2D graphics, depending on the required level of detail and fidelity, which allows for performance-oriented flexibility while saving on development time and costs. The ability to fault each one of these components creates an accurate simulation of downstream effects that would be seen on the real systems. The Ship Self-Defense System, or SSDS, VMT shows an example of combined 2D and 3D graphics. The server cabinet and unfolding structure elements are 3D models, and the detailed interface components are represented with 2D graphics. This allows VMTs to run efficiently on limited hardware or on lightweight distributed computing setups. In this example, the student is shown disconnecting and replacing a faulty system monitor touch panel. Notice that the student must interact with each screw and disconnect each wire to replace this part. These accurate immersive 3D spaces familiarize students with navigating the environments and equipment, while the 2D interfaces deliver a visually consistent textbook level of detail and interactivity. The use of the state machine allows the VMTs to be independent of maintenance procedures. This means VMTs don't need to be updated just because of a documentation change. VMTs only need to update when the system hardware or software is changed. VMTs can simulate physical interactions with a range of objects for complex maintenance procedures. This is the Sonar Dome Rubber Window VMT, which simulates the Sonar Dome pressurization system. Users can interact with opening, closing, and throttling valves in order to perform air-to-water and water-to-air interchanges. Each of these allows for different methods of pressurizing the sonar dome. Similar to data and electricity, air and water pressures are also tracked and managed by the state machine. Gauges are simulated in order to provide realistic results needed for the maintenance procedures for the system. Equipment is embedded into their appropriate and accurately modeled spaces to ensure familiarity with navigating these systems. Stave VMTs also simulate performing software and Linux commands. Certain tasks require interfacing with an onboard terminal, as in the case of a device requiring software reconfiguration after being replaced. VMTs include a simulated Linux environment and other simulated software to train students on these configuration tasks. Here, the student is imaging a recently replaced hard drive from an external USB hard drive using the command line and Clonezilla software. Performing software or firmware procedures can be complex and may cause irreparable damage to real-life equipment if performed incorrectly. 
VMTs provide an accessible and safe environment for students to perform these configurations repeatedly and at length without the danger of damaging training equipment, nor the cost of access to these spaces. That is the advantage of VMT software. High fidelity simulated physical environments provide maintainers the ability to gain proficiency through repeatable maintenance tasks.